What is going on guys, my name is Chris here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to film fish eyes. Now this is just going to be a basic tutorial, I don't want to film, um, I don't want to necessarily do a, an advanced tutorial because you can get into so many things about filming fish eye. Now it's not necessarily that crazy hard, it's just how to film it in the basic principles and you can basically film whatever in fish eye and it'll look good. So th this, I'm just going to get a trick over this pyramid, so let me just do that. Alright, we got a huge tray flip, but that's alright. Now, what we're going to do, when you want to film, well, this is a big timeline. When you film fisheye, is, you don't want to have the 24 millimeter, um, I guess, I don't even know what you'd want. A millimeter lens, I guess, I don't fucking know. But, fisheye is, you want to get the wide angle. Now, this isn't getting a wide enough angle. So, what you want to do is, you're going to want to place a marker at 24 then you're going to want to place another one that says 75. And then you want to zoom out about around 30, depending how slow. There we go. This is about good enough. Now, when you place something like this, it's zooming in and out. And then what it does, it zooms far back to the point where it goes past 24. And I need to go down a little bit. And this is 14. 14 is a good millimeter. Now, you a good millimeter that you want to start out with... Um, between uh, 13 through 16 is anything there is really good but see how wide our focal length I don't know I'm sorry I don't know that technical of a term so let's just place right we're, we're gonna want to be right about in the middle of the pyramid or in the middle of the trick this is a little um sorry but you're going to want to be very close, not necessarily close, but you don't want to be too close and you don't want to be too far away because then you won't get necessarily the full effect. Now, this is a good starting point. Now, from when you're filming fisheye, you want your skater to move from all the way to the left of the screen, and then you want to be in the middle, and then all the way into the right. You don't want to film, like if you were going to film like this, you it would just not look good, and you just don't want that. So we're just going to keep our skater towards the left. Let's delete that, and this is a little bit good. Now, obviously, my angle where my camera is, it's a little bit facing down. That's why it looks like I'm we're kind of looking down up on my skater. So now let's move to the next frame. Now, obviously, where you'll film or wherever, sometimes the uh, timeline is very short. Now, it's a lot easier when you have a short, um, a longer timeline. So that just is helpful. So right about there, that should be good. Let me go to the next keyframe. You want to go around, right? See how the heads are getting, the heads got cut off. So we're going to want to raise this one up, and then we can move this one down a little bit. So let's just look how this looks right now. Now the head just got cut off. Now this is just because my timeline's so short, so it's a little bit frustrating filming. But you can f you can fix it when you if you have a longer timeline. Now let's just film it. So you're gonna want your skater basically on the screen the entire time. You don't want anything cut off, and then we'll leave them towards there. Let's see how this looks. Now that's just uh, here his head. That was just this is just bad camera placement. But you, you should get the point. I mean, it's not that hard to necessarily get with every clip. So there, no, it's it's not that bad. Now, this is just like key timing and just basically about a bunch of factors. But it's not, I don't know, I think I'm making it more complicated than it is. But basically, see how like, I move from middle to the right. and that's, So that's about it. I mean, I know it's kind of hard to follow. But this is just a very basic tutorial on how to film fisheye. As you can see, it just little flowed pretty decent. So that's about it, guys. I'll probably do another one with stairs and a bunch of other tutorials. I hope this somewhat helped. So, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And, yeah, thanks.